ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಚಾನ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಪಣ ದೃಶ್ಯಮಾನಗರಿ ತುಲ್ಯಂ ನಿಜಾಂತರ್ಗತ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ನಾತ್ಮನಿ ಮಾಯಿರಿವೂತ ಯಥಾನಿದ್ರಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕುರುತೆ ಪ್ರಬೋಧ ಸಮಯ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮೇವಾ ತಸ್ಮೀಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮೈದ ಶ್ರೀದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದರ್ಪಣ ನಗರಿ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ನಗರಿ he want to present the entire universe is like a reflection of the city in the mirror like a dream of the waker by these two statements we come to know the four points one is adhisthanatvam number 2 is satyatvam number 3 is asangatvam number 4 is advayatvam mirror or darpanam is the adhisthanam one but that reflections appearing in the mirror or many adhisthan means a substratum a source without which the reflections cannot take place adhisthan means a source or substratum without which the reflection cannot form second point satyatvam that reflections which are formed in the mirror they are not real mirror is real but the reflections formed in the mirror are not real therefore satyatvam goes to whom na mirror and the second point asangatvam whatever happens in the outside city rain or fire or anything it cannot touch or afflict the mirror by just forming a reflection the fire may appear in the mirror rain may appear in the mirror reflection but the rain water cannot make the mirror wet the fire cannot burn the mirror because that reflection is the lower order of reality it has no power or capacity to afflict the mirror then advayatvam there are many reflections many forms many names are there but uh, mirror is one mirror is one 
There are many forms, nana, rupani, nana, namani. Advaya means non-dual mirror. And you have to supply this to again the dream and waker. If these examples you understand properly only, the Ashtanta is tough to accept. That's why deliberately I am repeating the example. Easily we can nod our head in example. But in, when the Darshtanta comes, it is very difficult to swallow. Unswallowable. Our intellect will reject. Therefore, assimilate the example properly. Second example is what? That uh, waker alone brings out the dream from him. The dream objects are many. Adhishtanam is one waker. Without the source Adhishtanam waker, the dream cannot exist, cannot sustain. Therefore, waker is the Adhishtanam. One waker, how many forms and names he is seeing in the dream? Many. <coughs> many names and forms he is seeing in the dream. One waker. Therefore, waker is the Adhishtanam. Second one is uh, Satyatvam. Dreamer is not real. Dreamer is not real, but the waker alone is the real. Satyam. Who is Satyam? In the dream example, waker alone is Satyam. Dreamer cannot be Satyam. Dreamer is unreal. Waker alone is real. So, Satyatvam. So, Satyatvam, waker alone is real. Then, Asangatvam, whatever happens to the dreamer will not afflict the waker. Whatever happens to the dreamer or dream, because of dream, the dreamer will be afflicted. Even though the waker is the substratum, the dream cannot afflict the waker. So that's why we are very happy in spite of many nightmares. Duswapnam. Still we are comfortable. And we go and drink water and come back, we sleep again. <laughs> so asangatvam. Advayatvam. Waker is one non-dual. There is no second waker, only one waker. But uh, dream objects are many. Many objects appear, many forms appear, many people appear in the dream. So, waker is advayam. So, what? So, what? Like that, Vishwam, the entire universe, the entire universe is Adhishtanam. Entire universe, Adhishtanam is Brahman. Entire universe, Adhishtanam, Brahman. But that universe is like a reflected city in the Brahman mirror. Brahman is the source Adhishtanam. Without Brahman, this uh, world cannot exist, which is like a reflected city. And the same way, Satyatvam also, Brahman is Satyam. That world which is reflecting in the Brahman is uh, Mithya, unreal. World is unreal. 
then asangatvam whatever happens in the world to the person it will not afflict the brahman or atma the nama rupa will be afflicted but they cannot touch afflict the brahma swarupam then advayatvam brahman is one there are millions of names and forms in the world eko devaha sarvabhuteshu godaha brahman is one but the entire world nama rupas are many up to here we saw in the last class and sureshwar acharya going to comment upon this shloka from ninth shloka onwards from eighth shloka only he is going to start the meaning of this shloka that means he is giving explanation to this shloka from eighth shloka up to that he gives introduction therefore i would like to give exact word to word meaning of this shloka when we come to the eighth shloka after completing the seventh shloka of manasolasa because there is a lot of gap again you will forget the meaning so vishwam darpana drishyamana nagari i'll give the meaning when we come to complete the seventh shloka of manasolasa now we'll venture into manasolasa page number 1 repeat the mangala shlokan mangalam dishatu me vinayaka mangalam dishatu me vinayaka mangalam dishatu me saraswati Mangalam dishatu me maheshwari Mangalam dishatu me maheshwari Mangalam dishatu me sada shiva Mangalam dishatu me sada shiva First section means for the first shloka for each shloka He is giving Manasolasa with the name of section. Why it is called Manasolasa? You can understand that which gives Ullasam to the mind is called Manasolasa. Manasolasa, that which gives joy to the mind, Anandaha. now that author sureshwara acharya starting the manasolasa with mangala shloka mangalam is always meant for to remove the obstacles vigna nivaranartham grantha parisamapyartham grantha parisamapyartham విఘ్న నివారణార్థం మంగళ శ్లోక దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ విఘ్నేశ్వర ప్రార్థన ఈ సికింగ్ ద బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ వినాయక హూ ఈస్ ద లార్డ్ ఆఫ్ రిమూవర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆబ్స్టకల్స్ ద లార్డ్ హూ రిమూవ్స్ ద ఆబ్స్టకల్స్ వినాయక మే మంగళం దిశతూ మే వినాయక బి ఆస్పిషస్ అంటూ మీ ఆస్పిషన్ మంగళం దిశతు మే హీ షవర్స్ ద ఆస్పిషస్నెస్ అపాన్ మీ మంగళం దిశతు మే మీన్స్ టు మీ దిశతూ న shows on me gives to me 
Similarly, Saraswati Devi is the goddess of knowledge. So, Saraswati me mangalam dishatu. Goddess Saraswati be auspicious unto me, upon me. Mangalam means Shubham Manatham. Shubham So, let Saraswati Devi help us to receive the knowledge. So, he is seeking the blessings of Saraswati, Goddess. Then, Maheshwari me Mangalam Dishatu. Maheshwari means Parvati Devi. Consort of Lord Shiva, Maheshwari, may she bless us with auspicious things in our life. Maheshwari. Then, Sada Shivaha me Mangalam Dishatu. Lord Shiva, Sada Shivaha also be auspicious unto me. This is our tradition. Anything when you start, you have to do prayer. That prayer is very important even though you are talking about Nirgunam Brahman. At Vyavaharika level, Upadhi level, there are so many obstructions may occur. Therefore, prayer verse is very important. We should not say, I am a Vedantin, I need not do prayer. You are a Vedantin means you are Atma from Paramarthika standpoint. Atma need not have any obstructions, obstacles. Isn't it? Atma doesn't have any obstacles. See, I am Atma Swarupam only for knowledge's sake. As long as I am in this Upadhi, I have to do puja, I have to do prayer, I have to seek the blessings of Ishwara. We should not forget this. So, therefore, Saguna Ishwara Dhyanam is recommended even after gaining knowledge. When you are doing worldly actions, writing book is a worldly action. So, therefore, you have to do that Mangala Shloka. Don't get confused. Okay, I am Brahman. I am Atma, therefore prayer is not necessary. And Cholla Kodad. Vinayaka Chaturthi is not for me and Cholla Kodad. Vinayaka Chaturthi is not for Atma. Vinayaka Chaturthi is for body, mind, complex. So there is Vyavaharika Vyavahara, Paramarthika Satyam Jnanam at intellectual level. Okay, there should not be any conflict with understanding you do. That's what you perform. With understanding you have to do. With this uh, Mangala Shloka, he starts, he is introducing that subject matter, Vishayaha and the Prayojanam, Adhikari, Sambandha. Vishayaha means subject matter. What is the subject matter that he presents here? Then, prayojanam. What is the prayojanam of this subject matter? Vishayaha. Some benefit must be there. Why we have to come and sit and listen without prayojanam? Then, adhikari. Who is a qualified student to study Manasolasa? It is not relevant for all people. 
all cannot understand also relevant only for some people jignasus similarly sambandha what is the connection between the vishaya and the adhikari this person qualified person why he want to know this subject matter sambandha relation this is called anubandha chatushtayam anubandh chatushtayam four important points author has to keep in mind before writing a text this text subject matter is this this text if you study this is the benefit this text if you study what is the relation between the reader and the text subject matter and who is eligible to study this these are all four points he has to present vishayah prayojanam adhikari sambandhah or adhikari vishayah prayojanam sambandhah you can take that way also now he presents the second shloka vishayah and prayojanam we will read the second shloka आत्मलाभात्परो लाभ नास्ती मुनयो विदु तल्ला कविस्तौती स्वात्मानं परमेश्वरं ना विल लुक इन टू द सेकेंड लाइन विषय द सब्जेक्ट मैटर शंकराचार्य इन दिस दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र ही इज ग्लोरीफाइंग स्तौती द सब्जेक्ट मैटर इज स्त्रोत्र स्तुति अहूम न आत्मा परमेश्वर द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ यू हेव टू रिमेंबर दिस मानसोल्लास इज द कमेंटरी टाइप आर वार्तिक अपन दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र वै दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र इट इज ए स्तुति स्त्रोत्र ग्लोरीफिकेशन ऑफ हूम न it's a glorification of atma and paramatma jeevatma paramatma stuti na swatmanam parameshwaram tat tatvam padartha aikyam tatvam padartha aikyam he has given here atman na jeevatma परमेश्वर न परमात्मा द सब्जेक्ट मैटर इज द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ जीवात्म परमात्म ऐक्यम द ऐडेंटिटी बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एंड द टोटल व्हाट इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ देयर ऐक्यम दैट इज कॉल्ड विषय तत्व पदार्थ ऐक्यम स्तौती कहास्तौती कवि स्तौती कवि न द वन हु राइट्स टेक्स्ट शंकराचार्य ग्लोरीफाइज आत्मा एंड जीवात्मा एंड परमात्मा इन हिज दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र स्तौती दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र ही प्रेजेस कवि इन हियर मै गुरु हु इज शंकराचार्य in some other text they write as guru instead of kavi they write as guru 
my guru who is shankaracharya glorifying this atma and jiva atma and paramatma in the form of dakshina murti stotram who says sureshwaracharya says sureshwaracharya is the disciple of shankaracharya in the introduction itself i have given sureshwaracharya before coming to shankaracharya as a disciple he was a great purva mimamsaka name as mandana mishra and he argued so much with shankaracharya finally shankaracharya convinced him with advaita gnanam then this mandana mishra became the disciple of shankaracharya so i am writing this text upon which my guru no wrote a stotram on dakshinamurti jeevatma paramatma aikya vishayam so kavihi stauti స్వాత్మానం పరమేశ్వరం కవి స్తౌతి మై గురు శంకరాచార్య గ్లోరిఫైస్ దిస్ జీవాత్మ పరమాత్మ ఫర్ వాట్ హీ గ్లోరిఫైస్ తల్ లాభార్థం ఫర్ ద ప్రయోజనం లాభ మీన్స్ ప్రయోజనం ఫర్ ద సేక్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ ద బెనిఫిట్ తత్ that what is that you know, he says in the first line for the benefit of that my guru shankaracharya writes this dakshinamurti stotram for the benefit of that what is that you know, that which is atma labha atma labha ఆత్మలాభా పరో లాభ నాస్తి ఇది మునయ విదు దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ప్రయోజనం బెనిఫిట్ మునయ మీన్స్ ముని మననాత్ ఇది ముని ద వన్ హూ కాంటెంప్లేట్స్ ద వన్ హూ ఆల్వేస్ డ్వెల్లింగ్ అపాన్ దట్ ఆత్మస్వరూపం is called munihi na munihi viduhu na muni knows this na viduhu na what they know they know what na they know atma labhat paraha labaha na asti iti they know that there is no greater benefit than other than atma prapti na atma labha means atma gnana prapti na paraha labha means superior benefit superior prayojanam paraha labha nasti there is no superior prayojanam other than ఆత్మలాభ ఆత్మజ్ఞాన ప్రాప్తి అన్యత్ ప్రయోజనం నాస్తి ఆత్మలాభ పరహానర్ సుపీరియర్ పరో లాభ నాస్తి మీన్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో సుపీరియర్ బెనిఫిట్ అదర్ దాన్ ఆత్మజ్ఞానం వాట్ ఎవర్ బెనిఫిట్ యూ గెట్ ఈజ్ వాట్ other than atma gnana in inferior it is not real benefit it is inferior para labha ha means supreme benefit enna atma gnana da benefit na and atma labha paro labha ha nasti iti munaya ha vidu all munis knows there is no superior benefit other than atma gnana 
Who is this Muni Isna? The commentator writes, Apastamba Muni. Apastamba Muni. He quotes this word. You can put in inverted commas. Atma labhat na param vidyate iti apastamba sutram. Smriti grandha. From Smriti he takes that. Apastamba muni quotes in his dharma sutras. Apastamba dharma sutras. Smriti grandha. What he says there. Atma labhat na paraha na param vidyate. There is no supreme thing in the world other than Atma Prapti. Labhamana Prapti. Apti, Prapti or Jnanam you can take. Apastamba Muni quotes that in his sutrams. That he quotes here. That's what he is remembering. That Muni who is Apastamba Muni and what he said in that Dharma Sutram. And he is quoting here, Atma Labhat na param vidyate. He puts in his words, Atma Labhat paro Labhaha nasti iti munihi viduhun. Now you see the commentator ke comment, Vartika mele comment, commentary. Hmm? That means how much thorough they are in so many texts. Enge Apastamba Sutra, you have to see. That is. Uh, Available now, but very worth to study, you know, Apastama Sutram. And our life can be mould, you know, like anything. By studying any Manusmriti or Apastama Smriti, all these Smriti Grandha Sutras. Now, Prayojanam over, Vishayaha is given, subject matter, Atmanam Parameshwaram Stauti, subject matter. Prayojanam is, Atma Lapaha or Atma Gnana Praptina. Jeevatma Paramatma Aike Gnana. That Jeevatma Paramatma are one and the same. I am that Paramatma Gnana. Now comes to the next shloka, third shloka we will read. Svechaya Srishtama Vishyam. Vishwam yo manasis titaham. Vishwam yo manasis titaham. Stotrainas tu yati nenam. Stotrainas tu yati Who is that Parameshwara? Atmanam Parameshwaram, he said in the second shloka. Who is this Parameshwara? Parameshwara is one. He is giving the description of Parameshwara. Nipad in his Parameshwara and Choli Tipona, in a Parameshwara and Neve Prilie. And the this Sureshwara Acharya says, Parameshwara is one. Yaha Svechaya Srishtam Vishwam Avishya Manasisthitaha <laughs> Taitri Upanishad Brahmananda Valley, you have to remember. Tat Srishtvata Deva Nupravishat. He is introducing that. Svechaya, Yaha means that Paramatma, Parameshwara, whoever, Svechaya means Svashakti Mayaya, by his own power of Maya, Svashakti Mayaya, Srishtam, created. By his own Maya Shakti, he has created. What he has created? Vishwam. He has created the universe. Vishwam means world. Universe. Svechaya means freely, without anybody's permission. 
by his own freedom maya shakti he has created srishtam this world vishwam how he has created avishya by entering in the world anupravesha shruti of brahadaranyaka he entered the avishya means where he has entered where he is available manasi sthitaha in the form of chidabhasa in the mind reflection that parameshwara is available sthitaha established manasi sthitaha just as there is a the pot in that pot there is water and the sun has entered the pot you can say sun has entered the pot and sun is appearing in the pot really sun has not entered the pot but once the water is available pot is available with water sun reflection forms sun will not plan there is a water there is a pot let me enter in the pot and avishya means praveshanam sun will never plan to enter into the pot but the presence of that pot and the water the sun reflects in that and go chair putama and the chair kudu so when the sun reflects in the water can sit nagara in the he reflects similarly this paramatma reflects in this body like pot mind like water the mind has capacity to reflect mind has got capacity to reflect the chaitanyam parameshwaraha reflects in the mind in the form of chidabhasa manasi sthitaha that parameshwara is called chit his reflection is called abhasa so chidabhasa reflects in the mind manasi sthitaha this is called pravesha you should not take literally uh, parameshwara slowly enters in the human being once this body mind complex comes all pervading parameshwara reflect in that mind and this body become sentient so you can see the sun in the waters the sun you can see in the waters sun doesn't have a plan to will to reflect in that but without his will his reflection forms similarly that parameshwara reflects in the mind manasi sthitaha yaha svechaya srishtam vishwam svechaya srishtam vishwam avishya manasi sthitaha very important line uh, very casually you know shlokam la eludittu porar and the taitriya upanishad you have to remember <coughs> then next line saha parameshwaraha eva stotrena stuyate very simple huh students think swamini when you are explaining so simple but when we are reading it is so difficult we are not able to understand yaha svechaya srishtam vishyam avishya manasi sthitah sah that paramatma who entered in this creation and available in the mind available point upalabdhi sthanam where is available in manasi 
in your own mind is available and people are searching outside and manasi sthitaha means again you have to remember another taitriya yo vedanihi tam guhayam parame vyoman is available in the heart of the every being so that sthitaha saha parameshwara that paramatma that parameshwara alone eva that parameshwara alone not anybody else so that dakshinamurti who is in your heart <laughs> that dakshinamurti is none other than parameshwara paramatma available in the form of jeevatma in your own heart stotrena sutuyate in the form of stotram that parameshwara is stuyate praised glorified that parameshwara alone is praised or glorified stuyate where in dakshinamurti stotram in dakshinamurti stotram that parameshwara only praised next shloka we will read fourth shloka asti prakashata iti व्यवहार प्रवर्तते कस्थे प्रति किषु ईश्वरत्वमीदृश नौ द अधिकारी He is introducing a sishya, asking a question. Asti prakashata yiti vyavahara ha pravartate. Very important words he is using. The sishya he heard somewhere. What type of student you see? What questions he is asking na? Adhikari na apni irkano. student the disciple must ask a, a relevant genuine question connection illamale kekka kodadu he is asking asti prakashate iti <coughs> vyavaharah pravartate vyavahara kale the interaction when interaction is going on people are all talking about two things and the two things da enak puriyala pravartate means what going on one type of interaction is going on in the world what is that interaction na asti prakashate ad prakashatta iruke because of sandhi rule that ekara is dropped prakashate iti you can put asti prakashate in inverted commas the interaction is going on in the world with these two words asti prakashate existence asti means existence to be irukkira tanmai irpudal and the irukkira tanmai asti prakashate revelation reveals existence consciousness he is she is i am it is and it manifest 
I know that he is, means I am conscious of that he is, is Prakashanam. Prakashanam means revelation of that he is. Revelation of that I am, Nan irukken. Revelation of it is, ad irukke. In the revelation, means what? He is, she is, and the consciousness. I am conscious of that. That is irukka ani anak teriyum. Mike irukka ani anak teriyum. Mike irukka ani the asti. Anak teriyum angkara the prakashanam. Revelation. Teriyum ada teriyum ada mike irukka ani. Angk sound irukka ni teriyum ada teriyum ada. Adi prakashate. Prakashate anna don't think light illumining light na. Prakashana means Prakasha is that in whose presence things are known. In the definition, whenever illumination, prakashanam, and the word vandu vudane, takkinu var green light area nu ullu. Enna di? Light or prakashanam is that in whose presence things are known. If that sound, mic sound from outside is prakashanam, it is revealing. I am conscious of that sound. I am conscious of that sound which is disturbing me also I am conscious of. Eh? Eh? That is called prakashanam. Mic sound asti. Irinda adane disturbance. Okay. And the prakashanam thing munna adhi irikkanam ayo endama? Irikkanam. Irikkanam ayo? Irikkanam. That is why the sound is very disturbing. I know. The sound is very disturbing. That is why the sound is very disturbing. That is why the sound is very disturbing. If you do it, it is disturbing. If you do it, it is disturbing. If you do it, it is disturbing. This is the Asti Prakashan. A good example. So you have to see the adversity in turning all adversities, adversities into <laughs> an advantage. <clears throat> what do you do? So that astitvam and prakashanam. So therefore prakashanam presupposes astitvam. Irkanam, prakashanam agharthi irkanam. So, prakashanam pannu na irukkano. Irukkaru thenna, adhi therinjakaru thukur poorele irukkano. Nilaya? Irukkaru thenna, adhi therinjakaru thukur aal irukkano maa venda maa. Asthi enna enna arathna? Irukkaru enna. Irukkani aar sholla mudiyo? A conscious being alone can say, Naan irukken. Naan irukken ane enakku? Ha ha. For you are all gnanis. Naan irken ani enak itu teriyo. Adi dah asli prakasha. Ibu na na, I need not shout at you actually. This much shouting not required. Simple way you can understand. You are sitting in the class. Asli ani cholla kuda ede. Kunci grammar beringe. Ena cholla no asmi ani cholla no. Ilya? Class asli ani cholla. Third person la asli. When I convert to myself, I am. What do you say? Asdhatu, Uttam Prashayaka Vachana, Asmi. Asmi, I am here. This is not a grammar class. Do you know? Asthi, Asmi is a difference. If you know Swami, you don't know the moksha, but you don't know. But, if you say Asthi, you don't say Aham Asthi. आने का आराम घोड़ा तो कुदरे एक कुर्रा मन माधुरी चलक बुड़ा दे आहम अस्मि चलनो साहा अस्ति आहम अस्मि that is I am conscious of that also that is called प्रकाशन इप्पम नम्म व्यवहार में लाई बुड़ा नहीं रखे every one of us say what ना नहीं रखे ऐने के तेरियो आधे रखे आधे रखे ऐने के तेरियो अवन रखा अवन रखा ऐने के तेरियो इन दाने तेरी हो, इन्हीं के संडे अनेक तेरी हो, ना निरीक्षण, इन्हीं के संडे अनेक अनेक तेरी हो, 
இன்னைக்கு சண்டே கிளாஸ் இருக்கேன்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் மை டாக்டர் இருக்க எனக்கு தெரியும் எனக்கு பசி இருக்கேன்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் பசி இல்லைன்னு கூட எனக்கு தெரியும் இந்த ரெண்டு இல்லாமல் வேற விவகாரம் ஏதாவது இருக்க வீடு இருக்க வீடு இருக்கேன்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் வீட்டில் தண்ணி இருக்க இல்லையான்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி இருக்க இல்லையா அது தெரியும் அஸ்தி பிரகாஷது அஸ்தி பிரகாஷது அவர் இரு இருக்காரா வீட்டில் யாராவது வந்து கேட்பான் உங்கள் வீட்டுக்கார் இருக்காரா அண்ணா வீட்டில் இருக்காரா அண்ணா இருக்காரண்ணா இருக்காரன்னு உனக்கு தெரியுமான்னு அர்த்தம் இல்லையா ஆ இருக்கார இல்லையா எனக்கு தெரியாதுன்னு சொல்லணும் அந்த அம்மா பாருங்க பார்க்குறேன் என்ன பார்த்துட்டு சொல்கிறேன் இருக்காரா இல்லையான்னு என்ன சரஸ் ஹஸ்பண்ட் சொல்லாமலே வெளியில் போவான் ஒரு ஒரு வாட்டை என்ன பண்ணுறது சொல்லிட்டு போனால் பரவாயில்ல வெளியில் போயிருக்காரான்னு சொல்லலாம் சொல்லாமலே வெளியில் போனால் என்ன பண்ணுறது பார்த்துட்டு வரேன்னு சொல்லுவான் இருக்க தெரியும் இந்த அஸ்தி பிரகாஷது விவகார பிரவர்த்ததை பிரவர்த்ததேவா நவா எஸ் சிஷ்யா இது ஆஸ்கிங் திஸ் கொஸ்டன் இங்கேயே ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகிடுச்சு சத்து சித்து அஸ்தி என்ன சத்து பிரகாஷத்தை என்ன சித்து அந்த சத்து சித்து என்ன ஏதோ விவகாரம் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கானே உலகத்தில் தமிழில் சொன்னால் அந்த அஸ்திக்கு இருப்புதல் இருக்கிற தன்மை பிரகாஷத்தை என்ன உணர தன்மை என்ன இருப்புதல் இருக்கிற தன்மை அந்த இருக்கிறங்கிற ஜானம் தன்மை என்ன சொல்லுவார் தமிழில் அறிதல் அறிதல் இருப்புதல் அறிதல் ஜானம் அறிதல் நன்னா இருக்க ஆ நன்னா புரியும் அறிதல் அறிதல் வருணம்னா இருப்புதல் இருக்கணும் இருப்புதல் இருந்தா அது தெரிஞ்சு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும்னா அறிதல் இருக்கணும் அது இருந்து இது இல்லைன்னா பிரயோஜனம் இல்லை இது இருந்து அது இல்லைன்னா பிரயோஜனம் இல்லை இப்போ நமக்கு ரெண்டும் இருக்கா இல்லையா இருக்கு அந்த ரெண்டும் இருக்கிறதுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் விவகாரமே நடக்கும் இப்படி புஸ்தகம் உங்க கையில இருக்கா இல்லையான்னு தெரியுமா தெரியாதா என்ன புஸ்தகம் படிக்கிறான்னு தெரியுமா தெரியாதா மானசோல்லாச அஸ்தி மம ஹஸ்தே அஹம் ஜானாமி பிரகாஷது தட் இஸ் கால் நாலேஜ் ரெவலேஷன் புஸ்தகம் அஸ்தி புஸ்தகம் அஸ்தி இது ஜானாமி ஐ நோ தட் புக் ஈஸ் அண்ட் ஐ நோ தட் புக் ஈஸ் இன் மை ஹேண்ட் புக் ஈஸ் அண்ட் ஐ நோ புக் ஈஸ் புக்கு இருக்கு புக்கு இருக்குன்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் என்ன சுவாமி நீ இவ்வளோ கஷ்டமாக இது புரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு என்ன சிம்பிள் விஷயந்தான் அஸ்தி பிரகாஷத்தை நீ எங்களுக்கு நீங்கள் படித்தா உங்களுக்கு புரியாது இவ்வளோ விளக்கமாக சொல்லணும் புரியறதா புரியறதா என்னன்னு பிரகாஷத்தேவா அறிதல் வந்ததா அது அர்த்தம் அறிதல் வரத்துக்கு முன்னாடி நீ இருக்கணுமா வேண்டாமா இல்லை இருக்கிறவனுக்கு தான் அறிதல் வரும் இல்லாதவனுக்கு அறிதல் வராது இது என்ன விவகாரம் எது நடந்துட்டு இருக்க உலகத்திலும் இருப்புதல் அறிதல் அணி அஸ்தி பிரகாஷ்தனி என்னவோ நடந்துட்டு இருக்க இந்த அஸ்தி பிரகாஷத்தை வேர் இஸ் இட் ஹீ இஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் த செகண்ட் லைன்ல ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லைன் ஓவர் அஸ்தி பிரகாஷதே இது விவகாரா பிரவர்த்ததே இஸ் கிளியர் தத் அஸ்திவம் பிரகாஷத்தட் அஸ்திவஞ்ச பிரகாஷத்வஞ்ச தட் இருப்புதல் அண்ட் அறிதல் அது தன்மை துவம் அண்ணா தன்மை என்ன தமிழ் கிளாஸா இங்கிலீஷ் கிளாஸா இது இருப்புதல் அண்ணா இருக்கிற தன்மை இருக்கிற தன்மை அஸ்திவம் அண்ட் பிரகாஷத்வம் சொன்ன அறிதல் தன்மை அறிவு தன்மை அறியும் தன்மை நீங்க எனக்கு தமிழ் சொல்லி கொடுங்க ஓகே அறியும் தன்மை அந்த தொம் அண்ண தன்மை என அர்த்தம் நெஸ் அப்படி சொல்லுவாங்க அப்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் நவுன் நெஸ் நோ நெஸ் நோ நெஸ் அது மாதிரி 
సో అస్తిత్వం చ ప్రకాశత్వం చ కస్మిన్నర్థే ప్రతిష్ఠితం కస్మిన్నర్థే ఇన్ హుచ్ ఎంటిటీ ఇన్ హుచ్ థింగ్ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ప్రతిష్ఠితం దీస్ టూ ఆర్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఇన్ హుచ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ వేర్ ఐ వాంట్ టు నో వా ఎన్నమా కేళ్ళు పాడుగో ఇంద ఇరుక్పుదల్ అండ్ అరిదల్ ఎంత పొరుళ్ళో తంగింది ఇరుక అని అర్థం వేర్ దే ఆర్ బోత్ ఆర్ స్టేయింగ్ వేర్ దేర్ ఈజ్ దేర్ రెసిడెన్స్ ఐ వాంట్ టు నో హ్యావ్ యూ హర్డ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎనీ వేర్ ఇది వరకు నమ్మ పడికల పాడుగో ఇంద విధమా పడికల క్వశ్చన్ పాడు ఎప్పుడు కేకరా ఇంద అరి ఇరుప్పుదల్ అండ్ అరిదల్ ఎంగ తంగిండి ఇరుక తంగి ఇరుక వేర్ ప్రతిష్ఠితం కస్మిన్ అర్థే అర్థే అన్న పొరుళ్ ఎంత పొరుళ్ళు కస్మిన్ అర్థే ఇన్ హుచ్ ఎంటిటీ దిస్ టూ ఆర్ స్టేయింగ్ రిసైడింగ్ అబైడింగ్ కస్మిన్ అర్థే ప్రతిష్ఠితం ఇది గురువుకు పెరియ విషయం దా ఇది గురువుకి రొమ్మ కష్టం ఇంత మాదిరి స్టూడెంట్ అలా ఒక అనుంద ముండి ఎప్పుడు చల్లరుది విడలే ఇన్నూ కేకరా క్వశ్చన్ ఇది ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ దా ఆరు కేళ్ళు కేకరా అంద ఆరు కేళ్ళకి బదులు వరపోవడం ఇన్ ద ఫ్రమ్ ఎయిత్ శ్లోక ఆన్ వర్డ్స్ ఏడవ శ్లోకం వరకు ఇదే ప్రశ్న కేటిండే ఇరుపారు నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఓవర్ ఇన్ దట్ ఫిఫ్త్ శ్లోక సెకండ్ అండ్ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఓకే సో ద సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ కిమ్ తేషు తేషు వా అర్థేషు కిమ్ వా సర్వాత్మనీశ్వరే అది సెకండ్ అండ్ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ దాట్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ పూర్ణమద పూర్ణమిదం పూర్ణాత్ పూర్ణముదచ్చతే పూర్ణస్య పూర్ణమాదాయ పూర్ణమేవాశిష్యతే ఓం శాంతి 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 హరి ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ హరి ఓం